I don't want GO-1221 posted till I finish the critique. Let's see what's left that'll fly tomorrow. File this report before 1600 and see if you can find me a fifth of Irish whiskey somewhere. Yes, sir. Lieutenant Hollister, sir. Major? Welcome to the 718th, what's left of it. Thank you. Where's your file? That's it in your hand, sir. May I have a ship for you tomorrow. Are you ready? Well, that would be just according to your judgment, sir. Actually, I've only been out four times as a co-pilot. Four missions shut down twice. This makes you a combat-wise old-timer. You ought to be ready for anything. Well, sir, uh... There's a pretty good crew, fresh from the replacement pool. You want to look them over? Sit down. Well, Major, I'm just off the convalescent list myself. You don't want the job? Well, it's... Major Sanford. Oh, yes, Kelly, what's the score? Yeah, I know, I lost five airplanes. Okay, send it over fast, will you? Major, what you asked me was, uh, am I ready? I mean, I'll try. I just don't know how to evaluate myself as the man in command. I know the kind of a guy you want. What I want is a new set of golf clubs and six months alone with my wife. What I need is pilots. Okay, sir. I know I'm a co-pilot. Maybe I'm a pilot. And maybe not. All right, co-pilot. Find Captain Stewart, Hollis, to report to him. Tell him he's going to fly with his crew. This is Major Sanford. Take me through to the weather club.
Comms all clear, Captain. Let's get out of here. Here they come. Three o'clock. Get that ball turret on them. Hi. My name's Hollister. Hey, yeah, Ben Hollister, Flight A, Kessler Field. I remember you're uh, Jack Martin. Right. Yeah. Fellas. Yeah. Say, so this is Joe Donnelly. He's in charge. Hi, Joe. Frank Elkins. Right. Just Harlan Swade over here. Hi, Harlan. And uh, Eddie Green. Fellas, this guy staked me to the greatest weekend in my life. Hey, you remember the blonde in that little restaurant? Yeah, I remember, but I should think you can remember more. <laughs> when did you get shot down, Hollister? Uh, about three days ago. This is the fourth day. You still in 17s? I don't know how to answer that. That's the third one I've had shot out from under me. Oh. I'm, uh... She feel me. She not the three. She my head. She not the three. I don't know whether he's trying to tell us something or what. Frenchy, try to say it in English. Is there something you want? Donnelly? Donnelly, I'm sorry. I can't go. Oh, je mal partout. Oh, je mal partout. He says the egg's all over. Oh. Quel malheur. Bad luck. Le voyez là-bas? Là-bas loin? Qu'est-ce que c'est? Ma mère, François, mon frère. Uh, we... Officer, get over here.
I'm sorry about the plan, but I... Oh, oh je suis plein de douleur, ma tête. Oh. Je ne peux pas me en tirer. Les informations sont vitaux. Le projet, vérifiez si tout est prêt. Oh. 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 He says he, uh, he doesn't want to go back on his word, but the project and the information are vital, and to make sure that everything's ready. Uh -huh. I think you'll rest a while now. If you're bushed, Hollister, that's your bunk up there. Thank you. Uh. Hollister, where'd you learn French? What? I said, where did you learn French? Well, in France when I was a kid. Why? Doing what? Are you French? No, my father was a French representative. Say something in French. A sentence, anything. Why? You mind? Say my name is Louis Cardinet. Je m'appelle Louis Cardinet. Say I am a machinist. I volunteered to work in the Dikoff factory in Glasenheim. I have been transferred to the factory in Nancy. In French? In French. Oh, what, what is this, fellow? Some kind of a gag or something? Happens to be true. We have documents to prove it. You speak any German? Possibly, yes. We're in. You better start practicing speaking German with a French accent. Uh -oh. What do you mean, we're, we're in? Hollister, you're going to get out of here. You're going to escape. Escape? ID book, ration book, work permit, and German marks. Oh, slow down, will you? Some American cigarettes to grease some palms with. Will you hold it? And we've got some civilian clothes for you to wear. I just got here. We you... Give me time to catch my breath. Time is the only thing we don't have. We built a plan for a man to get out of here tomorrow. Wearing these. It has to be a man that can speak French like a native. Now, that's the man. He collapsed today. Is that the real, uh, what's his name, Louis Cardinet? He invented Cardinet. Now you're him. What, what, what about these boots? They're not going to fit me. Two layers of leather. Rough on the outside, smooth on the inside. Clear? No. We split the layers and hid some papers in between them. Stuff we've seen, things we figured out. A plot of the Akak and placements around Nineberg. A reference point on a camouflage warning system for the whole Bremen area where I spun in. This is a secret stockpile of spare parts for railroad engines and the location of a factory where they're building the night fighter that's been racking up the RAF. Elkins here almost parachuted down their chimney. It's in Delmenhorst. Now, this information is the only weapon we've got. Now, something in one of these boots may say some lies. It may even help end this thing a little sooner for all of us. Clear? When you get to Nancy, you go to the Café du Nord on the Rue Saint-Felice. You ask for a Monsieur Lafayette.
made it. Baby, he made it. Please, if you, if you please, to take it to Nancy. Roger, wrong window, over there. I think he means for you to go to that window. Oh, for volunteer labor, yes, I did not see that. Thank you. And you are French. Yes. Why should we speak our language? For me, a German is always awkward. Me too. You going back to France? Yes, to Nancy. Nancy? That's wonderful. So am I. We can travel together. Eh? Unless, of course, you object. Well, I, I don't... <clears throat> I'd better get my tickets. Ah, oh, well, the train is late. A British air raid caused a delay. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, yeah. Very great pity. is a detective. Well, is, he, is he looking for somebody? These people are always looking. Don't let them see that you are nervous. If you bite a hangnail, they are suspicious. Attention, attention. All personnel, attention to Reich Commander Kaltman will call immediately to back 12. All Reich Commander Kaltman... And they always notice pretty girls.
My name is uh, Louis Cardinet. How do you do? How do you do? Uh, uh, are you uh, catching train? Yes. So am I. Are you French? Yes, I am. You'd have to uh, forgive my German. It's a bit clumsy. I wish I had some French, even clumsy. I hope you have a very pleasant journey. I thought my sister and her husband would come down to see me off, but maybe something happened. Well, there's still time. I'm sure that they wouldn't disappoint you on purpose. You're very kind. You are a French volunteer? Yes, I am. Do you work here? Oh, I did. I, uh, <laughs> I'm transferred to Nancy now. To Nancy? <laughs> That's where I am going. Is it really? Yeah. Do you perhaps work at Dickhoff? Yes. So do I. In the laboratory. Where were you? Uh, well, at the workshops, the machinist. Then you must know my brother-in-law, Otto Lehrte. He's a timekeeper at Shop 3. Otto Lehrte, yes, of course I know. That's how I got uh, the transfer to Nancy, through Otto. It was really his idea. It's a very good job. They say it's not so much bombing there. You know, those horrible American flyers Office. killing Office. civilians. Nancy, Bobby, <laughs> This is the first time I've ever come to live away from home, you know. Thank you. You have your ticket? Yes. Erica! Oh. I'm sorry. I, I thought you were Erica. All right, cousin over. Let's go. She's got a boyfriend. some fruit. I told you to play up to her. Mm -hmm. Makes you seem more relaxed. I can't. Her brother-in-law works in the factory that I'm supposed to work in. Mm -hmm. Besides, she has so many questions I don't know answers to. Right. Sit down. Relax. No use looking for a seat in the compartment. They're all full. So far, things aren't so bad, huh? Something wrong? My name. I can't remember my name. Louis? Louis. No, no, no. Don't go for your papers. That it looks strange. Think. They're starting to panic again. Work your way out. I can't remember it. I don't even know why I try. My papers are forged. I'm wearing civilian clothes. They're gonna shoot me. That's the way I'll get out of this. Feet first in a box. I don't know what that come doing. What you are doing is very simple. You are escaping, returning to England to get back into the fight. A, B, C, one, two, three. Isn't it as simple as that? No, it isn't that simple. It isn't quite that simple. There's a... There's a whole history that goes along with it of being pushed into things, being pushed into the wrong university, into my father's fraternity and into the air cadets by my fraternity. You know, I can't remember ever making a decision in my whole life I could call my own. I guess I knew that someday I'd get pushed into something I couldn't handle, and this is it, boy. 
surely you didn't want to remain a prisoner of war. Maybe I did. Maybe I wanted to stay there and relax and, and just come out alive. I know I don't belong here. Oh boy, if I used my head, I'd stop the next German uniform I see and just call it off. What? Inspection of papers. My name is Louis. Papers. Papers. My name is Louis Cardinet. Papers. See, I knew you'd remember. Papers. Oh, how bad I was. And I made out for a man much older and two inches shorter. You'll have to show them. I've been through this a thousand times. The papers are not as important as you. If you are afraid or nervous, they smell it. Louis, when they come to you, stare them in the eyes, be proud. You have worked with loyalty for the glory of the new order. Let them see that in your face. No one would dare to question you. Hand them your papers with pride. Understand? Papers? There wasn't a bit of fruit to be found. This terrible war. Every day things are getting worse. But I had a bit of luck. I found a compartment where everybody's getting off at the next stop. We'll be able to get seats. Excuse me, what? I say we'll be able to get seats together. Oh, that's wonderful. No, I'm so sorry that uh, Otto and my sister didn't come to the train to see me off, but do you know why? Papers? I'll give you one guess. That awful plant manager made Otto work late again, I'm sure. You know, what is his yeah. name? Mr. Um, it's on the tip of my tongue. Papers? I, I, I... I know who you mean. It's the, the plant manager. Yes, your boss, yes. you know. Mr. Um, oh, you know that big, fat bully. Wait, don't say it. I remember. I'll give up. What is it? Müller. Müller. Otto Müller. Otto Müller. Yeah. <laughs> Papers? No! 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 Captain is gone. He jumped off the train. Nonsense. He's right under your nose. Or I should say above your nose. The roof? How do you know? Ah. I did a very brilliant thing. I was watching him. He went to the end of the car and climbed up on the roof. Uh, Captain, let's take him now. Arrest him and return him to Glasenheim. No. But uh, if he escapes, it's my responsibility. I, I could be... Sent to the Russian front. Yes, sir. Please, Captain. No. He's going to Nancy for a reason. He's going to contact the French resistance and the underground escape. And I want him to make that contact. But if we lose him, headquarters will only know that we let a prisoner escape. Hmm. In fact, helped him, eh? Yes, sir. And without the authority to... Schneider. I make my own authority of this particular case, understand? Yes, sir. Now, apparently this man is afraid of you. And if he sees you again, he might do something desperate which will ruin us. So you stay out of sight. And let Heinz and Vesterman handle this part of the train. Yes, sir. The discussion is closed.
gotta be safe! Where's the best place to hide from the police, eh? In the police station. This is the compartment of the SS officers. The SS officers? Please, calm yourself. You know, you panic once, next time may be fatal. They're probably out searching for me. What makes you think you are something special? You are a French worker, nothing more, nothing less. They probably don't even know you were gone. <laughs> Otherwise, they would have stopped the train, no? I don't know. I hope you're right. Please, Louis, listen to me. Sooner or later, they will get around to you. And I have almost reached the limit of the help that I can give to you, unless, of course, you can help yourself. I'm sorry, Louis, but my own security becomes involved. I know. And I have a family, right? Louis, freedom is an attitude. If you act like a slave, the Germans will treat you like a slave. And you, if you run... <laughs> what are you doing in this compartment? Uh, we, we were tired and we felt like sitting down. This compartment is reserved for the SS. You have no business in here. Get out, please. Well, it was nice while it lasted. Strasbourg! Strasbourg! Louis, <laughs> that was marvelous, you see? You see, he took you for granted. Oh. <laughs> well, I hope there's a way as I can thank you for all this someday. Uh, Louis, that in itself will be my reward. not the remark of a true Frenchman. But look, they haven't even looked at the identification paper. Well, take yet. it as it comes. Stay with the girl. It looks good and not so quiet, so curiosity. A cigarette. They're Russian. Please go ahead. Huh? I, I don't want to deprive you. It's all right. Very no kind. No. I was very frightened about going to Nancy. A girl alone in a strange town, not knowing anyone. Oh, you know me. And I'll see you at, at work every day. Uh, but I mean, uh, <clears throat> of course, at night, you'll, you'll be with your sweetheart, I suppose. Oh, well, I... Don't tell me that a good-looking boy like you doesn't have a girl. Maybe two or three of them. Well, no one special. Really? about Nancy. Are there many nice places to go there at night? I mean, uh, cafes and so? 
Yes, yes. Uh, few, like any other town. Yeah. Do you like to dance? I love it. <clears throat> My uh, ex fiance and I used to dance a lot. Your ex fiance I better tell you. You know, when um, the Czechs assassinated Heidrich, my ex-fiancé's whole Gestapo unit went to Prague, and... Your ex-fiancé is in the Gestapo? Yes. And um, there he met a Czech girl, and he jilted me. Goebbels says that Czechs are an inferior race, but my ex-fiancé didn't think so. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, about your being jilted by him, I mean. That's uh, why I wasn't too cordial with you, as I first met you at the station. I mean, having such a bad luck with Gustavo boys. Excuse me? Oh, I mean, I thought you were, uh, you were a Gestapo agent. You aren't, are you? No. What would make you think a thing like that? Because you were with Ram, the man with the beret. It's a Gestapo agent. My ex fiance once pointed him out to me. Let's have your papers, mister. How tall are you? Can't you read? Answer. My description was written down there by a German, sir. I'm sure it's correct. You can see his tongue in your head. This narrow gun dog. Good. Morning. Have a pleasant night. Nothing unusual. We are coming in to Nancy. Uh, how do I get rid of this girl? Uh, you leave it to me. Sure. Would I impose on you too much if I ask you to help me find a room or a hotel or something? Perhaps I can help you. Louis. Well, yes, of course. I'll, I'll go with you. Would you excuse me? I'll, I'll get my hat and coat. Excuse me. I'm going to leave her to you. She's very nice and very attractive, and I told her nothing. Of course. And I want to thank you <laughs> sincerely for, for everything you've done for me. Everything you've taught me and uh, made me see about the Nazis and about myself. Uh, it's been a very exciting trip. It's too bad we must part. Yes. Thank you. There's just one more thing. Yes, my friend. <laughs> here and alert all units. Hurry up, I'll be all right. What happened to Louis? Your Louis is an escaped prisoner, an American pilot. Get out of my way.
are you doing? Ah, well, I, uh, I couldn't go through the depot. Why? Well, I was on the train, you see, and, uh, well, you know about these things. You've been on those trains, haven't you? Well, there was this girl. Mm. Anyway, I couldn't get rid of this girl, and her husband's meeting her in the station. Now, I've got to get away from here. Oh! Excuse me, sir. Could you help me, please? I'd like to arrange for permission to see my mother. You see, it's, uh, it's only because she's ill, and I've just returned to Nancy, and I'm supposed to go to work. Sir, platoon of police to report to the station plaza. At once, orders of Captain Miller. Who is Captain Miller? Do I have to show you credentials? There's a prisoner at large. Give it platoon headquarters. You! Come back later. Your mother will have to wait. Yes, this is an emergency. Thank you very much. Clever. Pretty doggone clever. G2 split the difference with me. They let me keep this one as a souvenir. <laughs> Medics have a good shot at you? Yes, sir. I'm fine. Lost it a weight, I think. Oh, I'll make that up, sir. Major Sanford. Yes. All right, tell him over there in five minutes. Well, I'm sorry I can't give you a little time off of good behavior, Ben. You did an outstanding service and deserve a leave, but I, I need men upstairs. Will you fly tomorrow? Yes, sir. Captain Richards needs a co-pilot. I'll put you in his crew for now. Good. I'd rather not sit around. Might be all, sir? Yeah, that's all. Hollister. Yes, sir. On uh, second thought, I still need pilots. Maybe I can find you a 17 of your own. Thank you, sir. I'd like that.
Service checkout. Tail okay. Left waist okay. Radio ready. All turret. Okay. Clear okay. Navigator. Thank you.